Okay, so in this video, um, I'm going to go on with the trigonometry part of the course, and we've got, given that sine x is 3 fifths, we want to find cos x, tan x, sine 2x, cos 2x, and tan 2x. And I want to show you how to do this in very straightforward ways. Now, what you've got to remember back to is that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Remember back to Sokotoa? So sine x is opposite over hypotenuse. So 3 must be the opposite, and 5 is the hypotenuse. Okay? So there is a triangle, a right-angled triangle, where if that's the angle x, then 3 is the opposite, and 5 is the hypotenuse. Which means that using Pythagoras, we can work out that the missing side is 4. Okay? 5 squared to take away 3 squared is 16. Square root of it is 4. So, cos x is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, cos x must be 4 fifths. So, that's a nice, easy way of doing it. Tan x is opposite over adjacent. So tan x is 3 quarters. Sine 2x, well that's a slightly more tricky thing, but if you remember, sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. Okay, from the previous videos, that's what we arrived at for sine 2x. So that's 2 lots of sine x, so 2 lots of 3 fifths, times cos x, 4 fifths. So 2 times 3 fifths times 4 fifths, well 2 3 is a 6, times by 4 is 24, so 24 over 25. Cos 2x, we can use one of the other formulas again, okay? So we could use uh, cos squared minus sine squared, or 1 minus 2 sine squared, or 2 cos squared minus 1, whichever you prefer. I'm going to use cos squared minus sine squared. So cos squared minus sine squared is 4 fifths squared, take away 3 fifths squared. Okay, so that's 16 over 25, take away 9 over 25, so that is 7 over 25. Okay, then we've got tan 2x for the final one. Well, tan 2x was... Uh, 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. Now if I've got tan x, then that's 2 lots of 3 quarters over 1 minus 3 quarters squared. Just subbing it straight in. Well, I'm not going to trust my mental arithmetic for this one. You're probably going, Jack, what are you doing? That's easy. But I'm just going to Make sure I get it right. Uh, so that's 24 sevenths. Okay? Now, um, you could also have used this one, if instead of finding cos 2x and tan 2x, you could also have used sine 2x and said to yourself, well, okay, well, sine 2x is uh, 24 over 25. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so if that's 2x, then this is the opposite, that's the hypotenuse, and then using Pythagoras, worked out that that missing side was 7. So that cos 2x is adjacent over hypotenuse, 7 over 25, and tan 2x is opposite over adjacent, 24 over 7. Okay, so that's how you can easily work out those missing uh, values using right angle triangles.